Hello and welcome back to my floss tube. Um, my name is Jen um, and this is a cross stitching channel. So um, we will likely be interrupted by these two monkeys because I have the door closed. Um, it's Mother's Day. Happy Mother's Day to all the mothers out there. And um, I'm not doing bath night because it's Mother's Day. So I closed the door and the kids are getting their baths and getting ready for bed for school tomorrow. So I'm in here with the cats and we're gonna do a floss tube and I have lots of goodies today. So I have a little bit of progress to show, a couple of whips. Um, obviously, still working on a model, not showing you that. But um, we just got back from our vacation. We went to Disney World and I had some time in the airport to stitch. So I have an update on this Chessie and Me kit. This is American Coast try to get there's a good spot for it and this is where I'm at so I am super happy with how this is coming along I got some white started up here in the flag got a bunch of this hill done I went back and did the detail work on the house and I got to start some of these background motifs and there's even one of the roses done, and I'm sure it's not going to show close enough, but the rose, the rose buds are all done with Smyrna crosses. So some specialty stitches in there. This has been a lot of fun. So I'm really happy with that. And I'm going to be turning all of these little Chessie and Me kits into um, pillows probably um, to switch out for the season. So I'm excited. This is probably going to be one of my first like patriotic pieces well I've got a couple other little ones too none of them FFO'd big surprise right and then I did have time last night I went to visit my cousin and I took this um, marriage sampler that I've been working on for my co-worker and I got a bunch of that done so I brought this down I filled in this did this whole bottom and did some of these curly cues so I'm super happy with how that is turning out as well. Um, but I'm not going to lie, it gets boring just working on one color sometimes. But it's an easy project to take when I travel or when I go, you know, to stitch, you know, at somebody's house or something like that because there's very few color changes and it's, it's an easy pattern to follow along. So I did have some progress I was able to show. And then, um, oh, I was going to bring in a piece. Mm, I forgot. Um, after I finish this model, I have a commissioned piece that I'm going to be stitching. And I was going to show you what that is. But um, it's a classic car, and I need to make some modifications to the pattern. Um, it's a convertible right now, and it needs to be a hard top. So I'll be making some modifications. And then I'll be stitching that after I finish the model. It needs to be done by like the end of July. So we really need to get this model done, get that out of the way, get it out of the house, get this commission piece done. And then I'm a lot more free with my stitch time. So I'm excited. Um, so I think next I'm going to do, okay, well I did whips. I didn't have any finishes. So next I'm going to, it's going to be haul, but I had a couple of um, gifts because I did the Biscornu, this last round of the Biscornu swap on my um, Facebook group, the Great Biscornu Swap. And I actually had two partners this time because um, we had a new member join and she wanted to do it as well. And we had like just assigned partners for the rotation. So I actually stitched two and it was a lot of fun. So this was my first package and this was from Lisa. And the theme was spring. So I love all of these bright colors. She used cute little heart buttons in the center. Super, super cute. So it's, you know, going to go in my Biscornu bowl. I need a bigger Biscornu bowl or bigger way to dis display them because a lot of these come from the swaps. And then she also included cookies, but I ate those. They were my favorite, Mint Milano's. <laughs> and a magnifier and needle case nice heavy duty metal or wooden one 
and this super cute, super cute little owl minder. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Now that I've shown it off, I can use it, right? I'll go put him in my little cart next to my stitching chair. And then my second um, swap partner was Melissa. And she stitched another one with great bright colors for spring. And I love it. And then she actually stuffed it with crushed walnut shells. So it's got a little bit of weight to it. It's really nice. I had never thought of stuffing a biscornu with the stuffed or the crushed walnut shells, but I really like how it turned out. I might have to try that myself sometime. Um, so yeah, there's my second one. And she sent me some um, twine that I can put in my finishing supplies and two different colors of Lady Dot's chenille. And craft scissors, can never have too many of those. And then she had a bunch of buttons for me. So, yeah. Thank you very much. Um, I need to find a place to put these aside. <laughs> okay. So that is it for um, gift. Uh, I, I don't really want to call it gift because it was a swap, you know. Um, so now we'll jump into haul. And first, actually this isn't really haul. This is something that my mom found in her basement. She's been doing a lot of cleaning lately, which is, okay, great. Except now she's like, oh, I need you to come go through this pile and take some of this stuff, whatever you want. And I'm, I don't really want to take anything. I don't need more stuff in my house. And, you know, she keeps saying, now you won't have to go through it when I die. <sighs> it's not happening anytime soon. Just keep your own shit. But she did give me two pieces that she stitched when I was little. Um, and this is the first one. Super cute. So I don't know what I'm going to do with it. Probably just maybe frame it. Um, there's a little, looks like there's a little spot on the fabric so whatever I do I'll have to you know it's it's well outside of margins so it's fine and the second one she had bought this kit and stitched the letter J in pink for me and you know to make it into a pillow <laughs> it's not a pillow yet but the kit has all of the stuff to make it into a pillow so that I could make it into a pillow. So I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it yet. And I just noticed, oh, it might need to be washed. There's some spots on this. I wonder how this would look. Okay, so there's some staining. You can't see it very well on the camera, but there's some very faint, um, you know, like rust spots kind of um, on this Ada. I wonder how this would look. I wonder how this would look if I tea dyed it. Hmm, I don't know. Mom's stitches are super neat, but oh, look how much she carried. <laughs> so that was kind of cool. Got those from mom. Told her I was not up to going through the rest of her stuff at this moment. So I left a whole bunch of it in her guest room. Um, but I'll do something with those. Those are, those are nice to have. All right. So actually getting into haul, I mentioned these in my last video, the Sweetheart Tree. So I had purchased some of the Sweetheart Tree patterns and, you know, I was extremely disappointed in the price. Um, they were supposed to be, I thought they were kits. They were not kits. They used to be kits. Now they're changing the same kit price for just the pattern and the beads. Doesn't even have the flosser fabric. So I was a little bit disappointed, but... I did get it on eBay and I scored, this came from Canada, the entire Sweetheart Tree alphabet series, A through Z. So I'm going to go through them quick. A is for Angel. And these do not have the beads. They were used patterns, but that's fine with me um, because the price was amazing. B is for Bunny. 
C is for kitty cat. D is for dog. E is for egg. Some of these are duplicates. Um, F is for friends and flowers. G is for grapes. H is for hearts. I is for ivy. J is for jack-o'-lantern. I love that one. So cute. K is for key. Ella is for lamb. Also cute. M is for mitten. N is for nurse. I have a couple nurse friends. I may have to make that one for one of them. O is for owl. P is for princess. Q is for queen. R is for rooster. S is for stitching and sewing. I'll of course have to do that one. T is for tea time. U is for umbrella. V is for violets. W is for witch. X is for X stitch, cross stitch. Y is for yarn. I have to do that too. And Z is for zebra. So that is the entire series. I got the next installment of the Let's Go Sledding Ornament Club. Super cute. Still haven't stitched any of those, really need to. My goal was to stitch one a month. I haven't stitched any and it's May. I was also planning on doing um, Erica Michaels Berries for Mania. I didn't do any Mania because I still have to finish that model. It's my own fault. But And then I purchased um, this owl stitchable metal bookmark and that came from um, Leslie Davis in um, cross stitch unloading stash unloading cross stitch only and it came with this adorable needle minder so I got that no idea what I'm gonna stitch on the bookmark I'm gonna have to start you know looking for patterns Can you hear Ellery singing? Um, <laughs> pretty sure this was a stash unload um, purchase. Christmas ornament. This was an order from... I don't remember what website. That's going to drive me nuts. Who did I order this from? I don't know. Um... Oh, I think I got this from, um, I, yes, I did. It's from um, Stony Creek because I ordered one of the magazines and I didn't want it to travel alone. So I found this little ornament. It's got the clay buttons. And then I ordered the button pack for this Scare You, Scare You by Shepherd's Bush. And you get the free pattern when you buy the button. So, ta-da! And then I was eyeballing this when it was originally released, but I think this was released as an exclusive somewhere. This is Cozy Into Winter, Jeanette Douglas. I just love that. I don't know what it calls for. I don't know if it calls for silks. I might have to see if she has the silk pack available. Oh, this uses Classic Color Works, Weeks Dye Works, and The Gentle Art. So I'll definitely stitch this one at some point. And then the magazine I ordered was the Spring 2021. And it had 
so this one I mainly purchased for um, this pattern actually and it was part two of this mini series um someday I would like to stitch this I don't know when just someday um, and then I also got the magazine that has part one in it it was originally on back order from remember off the top of my head really doing bad with names so, uh, sorely Cindy sorely so I got the magazine finally and it has part one but it has a couple other cute charts in here too like this had where is it these some st. Patrick's Day ornaments so I like that and the shamrock. I thought I could stitch those and do little pillow finishes for decoration. And then I had fabric from her as well. Sorry, I didn't realize there was tape on there. And this was had been on back order and I just love this fabric. I probably ordered 32 count. Yeah, it looks like 32. Um, and it's a dark gray and it's got the it's not the evenly spaced polka dots. It's more of like, you know, like the paint splatter. So I got a fat quarter of this, but I really like that. I thought this would be something good for some kind of winter piece. Um, kind of also could be, you know, snowflakes. So I got that. And then my issue of the world of cross stitching Came in. Look at that pattern. Isn't that cool? And then this is the cute little freebie. Little fox note card. I printed some patterns. These are free patterns. And this is in the Seba Designs Facebook group. And there are these patterns in the file section. So this is the one that I really want to do. Isn't that gorgeous? I just love it. And it, I mean, obviously it always does, but it looks so much, it, it looks so much better stitched up. The pictures I saw um, that somebody had from stitching it were just gorgeous. And then I printed, there was the this black work um, butterfly series set pattern and then um, a whole bunch of dis different biscornu these were spring biscornus and there are 16 different patterns so you can mix and match and you, you know you can make the tops and the bottoms different or the same however you want to do it and again, that is the Seba Designs. I'll try to put the link in the description. Um, I had a big Mystic Fabrics order. And I, oh my God, these fabrics are gorgeous. She sent me this cute little freebie. Um, you know, a little frogger. Super glad, because last time I frogged, I lost a needle. I pulled a stitch and it went, whoop, and I was, whoop, whoop. Then I had to find it before the cats ate it. Luckily I did. So this is 28 count Opal Lugana. Oh, isn't that stunning? Stunning. And I just got a fat eighth of that. These were all um, posted in her group and they were pre-dyed. Pre you know, she had them all set to go, put them up in her group. And I didn't realize it because it was my first time buying, but there was a limit on how many you could claim for the first hour. Whoops. I had to go through and delete a couple. Um, and I think I actually missed a couple. This is a 36 count linen. Another fat core, uh, fat eighth. Oh, I love that. I hope this isn't going to be too dark. I, I, I think it's time to admit I need magnifiers. Because 
that um, American Coast piece is stitched on um, 36 count. <laughs> it was rough. <laughs> I, I do... I'm to the point. Not going to deny it. I need the magnifiers. And I need stronger ones than the ones that I have. <laughs> and then I actually got that same color in... That was a 36. I also got it in a 28 count linen. And it dyed very similar. So I do have it in a in a you know bigger count. Easier for me to see. Beautiful. This is another fat eighth, and this is a 28 count linen. pretty so pretty so pretty and then I have oh these are all these are all fat quarters so this is where I screwed up and I should have deleted one more of these but I didn't and she still let me have it so this was a 28 count opal linen So pretty. Okay, so the light's not doing very nice things to that right now. There we go. Super pretty. And I like this. This is a nice, like, heavier linen. This is a 32 count linen. Very nice, somewhat neutral, a little bit darker. And the last one is also a 32 count linen. Um, now that we are home from vacation, I am going to be sorting through my fabric stash as well, and I will be de-stashing some of that on my Instagram de-stash page. Oh, there's a cat giving himself a bath. And then I worked at the quilt shop yesterday. And I had some Mill Hill um, kits that I purchased. These were from the new Fall line. And I just love this owl. So cute. And then the flamingo, I do not like the hat. So I'm going to stitch him without the hat. <laughs> um... I have the regular flamingo, I have the um, Christmas flamingo with the wreath around his neck or whatever, and so I had to get this one, but I hate the hat. <laughs> so, yep, I'm going to take the hat off. And then I picked up some fabric. I've got a fat eighth of 40 count water green. That's pretty true to color. So I'm going to try to do a little bit, you know, get into some 40 count too. Um, this is a fat quarter of 28 count bump in the night. I think these are Lori's fabrics. I think this is Seraphim. Um, Mo had gotten a big Seraphim order in. And I just love this really dusty purpley. Got a, that's this one is another fat quarter, and it's cat. No, 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 no. Hey, no. This one is thirty-two count sea spray Lugana. Let's see how this color shows up. Ooh, it's not too bad. Loving that. Cats, you don't listen, do you? No, you don't. 
You don't listen. Just like children. They're my furry kids. This is a 28 count mixed berry jobelin, and this is also a fat eighth. And I think this is just um, direct from uh, which I'll, I don't, this is not a Lor one of Lori's. It's a very subtle piece. I like that one. And then I have a fat eighth of 28 count stone washed Lugana. And this particular piece I purchased because, well you can't, it's not really showing up in the, okay so do you see the color placement? Like that looks to me like sand and sky. So yeah, we'll see what I end up stitching on that. Oh good, I can hear Brian taking care of the stuff in the dishwasher. <laughs> he mowed the lawn today, went to Menards and bought a new weed whacker, did all kinds of adult things. And even though it was Mother Day, Mother's Day, I ended up taking care of a whole bunch of housework too, but it was stuff that I've been wanting to get done and it was nice to take care of it. This is a 32 count winter, uh, winter woolens is the color. Very nice neutral. And it's just a fat eighth. And this is a um, Lugana. I'm tending more towards the neutrals now. Don't get me wrong, I still love the bright colors, but for stitching on, I'm, I'm leaning towards those. Um, last, Last for haul, I got my big Owl Forest Embroidery order. So I ordered this back in March, end of March. And it came while I was in Florida. So I have two floss packs, and these are four specific patterns. And I purchased the PDF, so I do need to print them out. But look at how luscious those colors are. They're just amazing. And then I actually purchased a few of their, uh, what do they call it on their site? Poke bags? You know, like it's a, it's a grab bag. So, mystery bag. Owl in a poke. That's what it is. So, I ended up with one, two, three, four, five of them. I bought one of each color that was available when I ordered. So, they come with... Um, I thought they were just going to be floss. Um, I was surprised. Every single one came with the floss, a piece of fabric, a small piece of fabric, a needle minder, and then an additional surprise gift. So right away, I was impressed. This is the first one. Here's all of the floss beautiful range this is the fabric that it came with and it looks to be a third it looks like it's a 32 count here is the needle minder look at him it's so cute so i got a bunch of owl needle minders and then this one came with beads two different colors of beads and then I don't, I don't know what to do with these bags. I mean, the floss isn't for patterns. I guess I just need to split them up. I guess I don't, I don't need to save the bag, do I? Maybe I should save it so I know which ones I've ordered because, yeah. Because I want to get the other one. Okay, so this was the this theme was the Dune Owl. So then I have, let's see, this one is Misty Owl. I think I got everything out of there. Here is the needle minder. So it looks like the 
needle minders, the picture is all the same. It's just the colors that change in the needle minder. Here is the fabric, very neutral. Again, looks like a 32. The range, gorgeous. And this also came with beads, gray beads. Just one color of beads in that one. This is the caramel, caramel owl. Okay. Needle minder. He's got more bright colors in him. He's got, you know, like candy. Ugh. Dropping things. Um, this is an even weave, and it looks like it might be a 28 count. Um, the surprise gift was two skeins of color. Um, I don't see a brand on here. Take it out and see if I can find it. Elgadon Egyptio 100%. It's cotton floss. <laughs> And then this is the actual, look at those colors. It's like candy. So pretty. Two left. This is Berry Owl. I was look, ooh, looking in the wrong spot for the name. And this little owl has berries with him. This fabric has some nice modeling to it. Reminds me of Picture This Plus Mellow. Um, but I'm sure that's not what it is. But yeah, it's, it's very nice. And then beads again, one color. And the floss. And then the last one is forest owl so I think the ones that I didn't get there was like a water themed one so here's my forest owl two skeins of floss again which I'm gonna take out of that bag so two different greens um, a neutral fabric and my forest floss. So yeah, those were amazing. Amazing. So I'm gonna dump this on the bed. Because I need to be able to get to my computer because we have some giveaway winners to draw. So I've got stuff all over. <laughs> okay, so we had six items to give away last time. We have the Baby Yoda needle minder. We have the um, black needle, exclu the black needle um, coffee up all night needle minder exclusive. We have the um, rose black work pattern. We have the Fiesta fabric, and it had the scraps of um, the other fabric as well. And we have two books. So, I have my sticky note somewhere. Yep, these were all of the phrases that needed to be used to enter the giveaway. So... Let's draw winners. And I actually already set up my internet browser with the random comment picker and put in um, the video link. Cat, no, 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 go. So I put in the comment. So the filter comments based on a specific text. First one we're gonna do is, oops, 
Marcy. And our winner is Jacqueline Liebfried. So I have that for you. I'm going to write name on here. Jacqueline. And all anybody that wins, um, make sure that you send an email with, um, you know, let me know who you are uh, with your shipping address. Um, so the second one is another book, and this one was supposed to be Angus. So let's put Angus in there and start the raffle. And this one is going to Kathy Huff. And I can hear the cats in my closet getting into something. Awesome. Okay, now we have the Black Needle um, Minder. And that was the phrase Black Needle. So let me put that in there. Start raffle, and that is going to, um, I apologize if I pronounce this wrong, Giselle Eloy, and I do not think I specified U.S. only or anything, so I am going to send them anywhere. Um, the next one is Baby Yoda. Start raffle. And that winner is Jennifer Araya. Congratulations, you guys. I hope you enjoy these. Two more. Next one is the Blackwork Rose pattern, and that was just Blackwork. So let me put that in. Start raffle. And that is going to Stitchin' Darling. Write that down. And last but not least, we have the keyword Fiesta for the fabric. Man, maybe I should have done this on Cinco de Mayo. And that is going to Melody Hurley. So... That is everybody that won. And I will try during the week um, to go through and comment on the um, entry comments that you have won. But, you know, don't wait for me to do that. <laughs> um, hopefully you're watching and you heard that you were a winner and you can shoot me a message and we'll get it in the mail. So, that is all of it. I think we're all set. Plans I already went over. I'm gonna just work on the model, get that out the door. God. You know, if I really concentrated on it, I could probably finish it in a week. It's just gonna depend on how work goes because work's been crazy. We got back from vacation and I worked 16 hours on Friday. And then I worked probably 10 or 12 hours over Saturday and Sunday. And then, you know, right into Monday through Friday. So we are, closing out the previous year data and and making some changes to our our system and so it's been a lot of tedious extra work which is fine it needs to be done but I was definitely ready for a break this weekend <laughs> so um I will hopefully be back soon and next video hopefully I'll have uh some more giveaways to do um yeah, I've been doing a lot more reading lately too, so that's kind of gotten into the stitching time because there's been a couple of nights where I just sat on the couch, cuddled up with a blanket, and read a good book. So, um, yeah, it's been hard to choose between the two. Sometimes I actually will listen to a book on Audible while I'm stitching, so then I can do both. But um, sometimes nothing beats cuddling up with a good book and actually reading it, so... Um, I hope everybody is doing well. I hope all you moms had a great Mother's Day weekend um, and took some time for yourself. 
and I will check in with you all very soon. Bye.